So after a few years, those compromises, and I'm not a guy who likes to compromise. You know, I'm sorry. It's just, you know, some people can do that and I can't. It just it, it finally got to me. And then one day, not so long ago actually, I realised that that made me officially a grumpy old man, right? And I wasn't going to change. I'm not one of those foolish people who thinks you can change the way people are, right? So I thought, well, rather than sit around and do this, let the next, next generation take over and I'm more than happy to do that. And I felt that I had unfinished business musically. Yes, yes. Right? Yes. And two reasons. One, which is very important to me, right? I felt that I'd been forgotten in my own country. I know people say that I haven't, but the reality was that I, to some extent I had. And I was very poignant when my grandchildren said to me, are you a singer-songwriter? And I thought, they should know this. Mm -hmm. You know, your, your young cameraman here said, should I know your work? You have to be real careful. I think anybody has. You know, it's a wonderful T-shirt. You know, the, the older I, the older I get, the better I was. <laughs> and I don't want to be one of those guys. Yeah. The, the the fact of the matter is, I will. I won't pretend that it doesn't get up my nose yeah. that when great song, singer songwriters and collections of the best ever New Zealand songs are put together, I'm not on them. It gets right up my nose. Mm. Now, the reason it gets up my nose is. Because I had, I was songwriter of the year three years in a row in the record awards. I had album of the year three years in a row, three different albums in the record awards, two APRA Silver Scrolls. So I failed to see why I'm never ever mentioned. Now you could sit around and whinge about that, you could, right? But I'm not that sort of person. So I thought, oh, you know what I'll do? I think I'll have another crack. I'll come back, do some stuff, remind everybody of what I did, have some fun doing it because I can, because I work really hard and I have the wherewithal to do such things. Plus I have an enormous amount of friends who are helping me with this, I'm, to which, who I'm eternally grateful. But, and then that, that might make people rediscover what I did and then go ferreting around and say, wow, actually, how did we, I, I saw a, there was a thing called, um, I can't remember what it was, but Karen Hay, I think it was, it was a linking lady. And she came on and she said, how could we have forgotten him? And then she listed stuff, stuff that I'd forgotten. I'd forgotten that I had a single of the year once. Yeah. I'd forgotten that. You see. <laughs> so, but you know, she, and when I heard her say that, I thought, mm -hmm. yeah, too right. That's, that's not a bad thing to mm -hmm. say. And that's what got my grandchildren's interest. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing this, um, I don't want to live in the past. I think it's sad when people do that. You know, it's like, it's like, uh, it's like riding on a train looking backwards. You know, you only see where you've been. I think I'm like a guy who likes to stand at the front of the boat, you know, look where we're going. This album, for instance, Just Quietly, it's amazing to me the amount of people who say, oh, that's so sad, or is it true, you know? Well, yeah, it's all based on a true story, but not always all those stories are mine, right? There's some of them are mine, and some of them are other people's. So what I try to do is I try to write things that resonate do you, do, you, do you know what I mean? Yes. So that when yeah. it's, it's a song, a song when you write a song, and when, when, what I do is, is, it's when people own part of that, when they find part of themselves. It's like when you see a great comedian, and they say, you know, God, I work with Billy Connolly as another part of my life, and and everybody says how funny Billy is, but you know what you're, they're laughing at themselves. Yes, exactly. Because he reminds them they, of something that they did, done, that they yeah, felt. Yeah. And that's the and that's what a songwriter should do, mm. and it's the, and when you say something that resonates with somebody, he goes, oh, I know exactly what that yeah. means. Or you, people, I have friends of mine who write, say, were you writing about me? <laughs> uh, you know, do you know? And that's yeah. great yeah, because yeah. no, I wasn't. Mm. But the fact that you mm. feel that yes, means yeah. it's, it's something. Well, John, the brand new album, it's set for release tomorrow here in New Zealand. It's called Just Quietly, and it's available in all good record stores yes. from next week. John Hamlin, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.